The Java class loader is a part of the Java runtime environment that dynamically loads Java classes into the Java virtual machine. Usually classes are only loaded on demand. The Java runtime system does not need to know about files and file systems because of class loaders. Delegation is an important concept to understand when learning about class loaders. A software library is a collection of related object code. In the Java language, libraries are typically packaged in Java files. Libraries can contain objects of different types. The most important type of object contained in a Java file is a Java class. A class can be thought of as a named unit of code. The class loader is responsible for locating libraries, reading their contents, and loading the classes contained within the libraries. This loading is typically done on demand, in that it does not occur until the class is actually used by the program. A class with a given name can only be loaded once by a given class loader. Each Java class must be loaded by a class loader. Furthermore, Java programs may make use of external libraries or they may be composed, at least in part, of a number of libraries. When the JVM is started, three class loaders are used. Bootstrap class loader, extensions class loader, system class loader. The Bootstrap class loader loads the core Java libraries located in the Java home lib directory. This class loader, which is part of the core JVM, is written in native code. The extensions class loader loads the code in the extensions directories. It is implemented by the SunMisk launcher $ext class loader class. The system class loader loads code found on Java class path, which maps to the class path environment variable. This is implemented by the SunMisk launcher $app class loader class. User defined class loaders, the Java class loader is written in Java. It is therefore possible to create your own class loader without understanding the finer details of the Java virtual machine. Every Java class loader has a parent class loader, defined when a new class loader is instantiated or set to the virtual machine system default class loader. This makes it possible to load or unload classes at runtime. This is an important feature for implementing scripting languages, using bean builders, allowing user-defined extensibility, allowing multiple namespaces to communicate. This is one of the foundations of CORBA-RMI protocols for example. To change the way the bytecode is loaded, to modify the loaded bytecode. Class loaders in JE, Java Platform, Enterprise Edition application servers typically load classes from a deployed WAR or EAR archive by a tree of class loaders, isolating the application from other applications, but sharing classes between deployed modules. So-called servlet containers are typically implemented in terms of multiple class loaders. Jarhal Jarhal is a term similar to DLL hal used to describe all the various ways in which the class loading process can end up not working. Three ways Jarhal can occur are, a developer or deployer of a Java application has accidentally made two different versions of a library available to the system. This will not be considered an error by the system. Rather, the system will load classes from one or the other library. Adding the new library to the list of available libraries instead of replacing it, may see the application still behaving as though the old library is in use, which it may well be. Two libraries require different versions of the same third library. If both versions of the third library use the same class names, there is no way to load both versions of the third library with the same class loader. The most complex jar hell problems arise in circumstances that take advantage of the full complexity of the class loading system. A Java program is not required to use only a single flat class loader, but instead may be composed of several nested, cooperating class loaders. Classes loaded by different class loaders may interact in complex ways not fully comprehended by a developer, leading to inexplicable errors or bugs. The OSCE Alliance specified a modularity framework that solved jar hell for current and future VMs in ME, SE, and E that is widely adopted. Using metadata in the jar manifest, jar files are wired on a per package basis. Bundles can export packages, import packages and keep packages private, providing the basic constructs of modularity and version dependency management. 
to remedy the Jarhal problems a Java community processor Euro JSA 277 was initiated in 2005. The resolution a Euro Java module system a Euro intended to introduce a new distribution format, a modules versioning scheme, and a common modules repository. In December 2008, Sun announced that JSA 277 was put on hold. See also, Loader, Dynamic Loading, DLL Hell, OSGI, References. External links, Chuck McMahonies, The Basics of Java Class Loaders, 1996, Brandon E. Taylor, Java Class Loading, The Basics, 2003, Jeff Hansen, Take Control of Class Loading in Java, June 1, 2006, Andreas Schaefer, Inside Class Loaders, November 12, 2003, Sheng Liang and Gilad Bracher, Dynamic Class Loading in the Java Virtual Machine, in Proceedings of the 13th ACM Conference on Object-Oriented Programming, Systems, Languages, and Applications, ACM Sigplin Notices, Volume 33, No. 10, ACM Press, 1998, PPA 36 a Euro 44. Dr. Christoph G. Yong, Class Loaders Revisited Hot Deploy, Java Specialist Newsletter, June 7, 2001, Don Schwartz, Managing Component Dependencies Using Class Loaders, April 13, 2005.